Here is our liver model, and we are looking at the underneath of the liver here, and the surface tissue has been removed to give you an interior view of what's going on with the blood vessels and the bile ducts within the liver. Right over here, we have the remnant of the umbilical vein. It's number eight in this model. And this is the round ligament, also known as the ligamentum teres. And it is outside of the liver itself. It goes right over here on either side. This is the cut uh, surface of the liver. And number three and number six are written on the surface of the liver. Right over here is a remnant of the ductus venosus, which is known as the ligamentum venosum. And you see it's connecting the round ligament to the inferior vena cava, which has been circled. So again, the round ligament is there. Here is the gallbladder, and it is underneath the liver. Again, it is like the round ligament. It is not within the liver. It is on the undersurface of the liver. We'll learn about the gallbladder later. Right over here is a close-up of the blood vessels that will supply blood to the liver. Here is the hepatic artery proper. It is providing oxygenated blood to the liver. And here is the cut stump of it, just before it enters into the liver. This larger vessel right over here is the hepatic portal vein. And you can see it has kind of a purplish color uh, because it is essentially bringing the oxygenated blood from the abdominal pelvic, well, mostly the abdominal organs, uh, to the liver. Here is a superior view of the same model. Right over here is the inferior vena cava. And you can see blood is draining into the inferior vena cava by way of the hepatic veins. So there is usually more than one hepatic vein.